Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be filming my March monthly spread. Uh, it's actually March 2nd when I'm filming this, so you guys are gonna see this fairly quickly. I am using this three page kit by Planning Roses that I had ordered as part of the PPC sale. I'll just briefly show you the sheets. So this first sheet has your top bars, your holidays, your bill dues. Then you have your sidebar stickers, some flags and more bill dues. Then you have some full boxes, a bunch of labels, some icons, paydays, and some strips, which are perfect. So this is gonna be my second time using a monthly spread in this planner. I couldn't really figure out how to get it to work in February, but it, I think it turned out pretty good. So let's just get started. I'm going to do this, zoom in, and let's get started. So it is currently snowing like crazy outside. So let me see. I think I got this pretty good last time. I just kind of like lined everything up. Yeah, it's a little see-through, but honestly, you can't even tell. So there we go. That was a little bit out of frame. I'm sorry for that. Let me do the second half. Let me see here. That works. And then we have the days that are not in the month. And I really like the way Jenna does these because you get a look at the previous month and a look at the next month. So that's just one thing I really love about her kits. So this is gonna be slightly smaller because this is the neutral planner and not the hourly. Um, this is the um, hourly planner instead of the vertical. So these boxes will be a slightly off size as you can tell but that doesn't really irritate me do we have anything on this side no okay so let's start on this side um we have a bill due on the first which was my actually you know what yeah i'll no i'm gonna do the sidebar first sorry i couldn't make up my mind what i wanted to do there so let me flip this again on its side and i'm just gonna go straight down the sidebar with these. So like you can see, they're just slightly off for the hourly planner, but you can still make them work. And she gives you some headers to use, so we will take advantage of that. See, they're just slightly shorter, which is whatever. It doesn't bother me. Um, I typically don't use my sidebar in this planner. Oh, you're supposed to put this box up there. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, well. Um, I guess I'll do months events in this one. And I'll do months goals, I guess, in the second one. Then I'll do months memories, I guess. And then I'll do purchases because why not? Well, there we go. Perfect. Super cute. All right. So while we're on this page, um, I'm going to do the holidays. So we have St. Patrick's Day on the 17th. So this will go in right here. And then we have on the 20th, flipping to the other side, we have spring begins. Thank the Lord. We got a snowstorm today. It's still snowing. And let's see, spring forward is the 11th. So daylight savings time. I'll just put this down here at the bottom which means we'll have to move the clocks forward, which is fine. That's really crooked, but I don't care. Then we have, I don't celebrate these, but Palm Sunday is the 25th. And Good Friday is the 30th because Easter is on April 1st. All right. And that's it for holidays. So now I will do the bills that I know of. I have my mortgage. On the first, 
and that is already paid. Then on the 7th, I will put the two bills for Chase. Those are my credit card payment and my car payment. So I will put that here. I paid those early. Let's see. I always forget when these are. Um, the 23rd is my car insurance. So that is through Travelers. So I'll just write Travelers. The 24th is my student loan. So we can put these both in. This month is really boring, just so you guys know. I have no plans at all. And then the cell phone bill is on the 27th. And that is Verizon. So all that's left on this sheet are some asterisks and the little planting roses icon. So that's pretty much done. Um, let's see. I have paydays on the 15th and the third, the probably the 30th, I would think. So I'm just going to mark payday here and then I'm pretty sure I'll get paid the 30th. So I'm just going to put that here. And that will be it for my paydays. I get paid by monthly. And let's see. Um, these three days, oh, the power just flickered. The 12th, the 13th, and the 14th, my husband's friend is going to be in town. So I'm just going to mark that with this gray strip. He's going to be visiting for these three days. He lives in Florida, but he comes up once a year and he visits. And I'm just gonna use one of these boxes and just write because he'll be staying with, with us for the week um, or the three days. My husband will be home taking vacation time for that while I will be working. So I'll just kind of put that like that, just to notate it. And I do have one exciting thing starting this month. On the 28th, I'm starting grad school. So I'm gonna use this brown box. And I'm gonna put that here. And just write grad school. Because that will be my very first day of classes. I'm taking basically classes at night. So we'll just put that like this, and I'm going to use one of those little asterisks there. Um, I have a meeting on the 6th, so I'm going to mark that. I'm going to use one of these tan boxes. Uh, just right. that in down here. Perfect. Um, I forgot to mark for tomorrow, actually Saturday, which is tomorrow. My husband has an oil change. So I'm going to mark that with a pink box. And I'm going to use one of these little car icons. that here and that is pretty much everything that I know of wait did you not get date things that must be optional I think that's pretty much all of the plans that I have so far that I know of for April so let me just zoom out so you guys can start for March sorry we're not in April yet so I don't think will this fit down here actually this will fit I'll just put this at the bottom I don't have any other plans that I know of right now. 
So I think I'm just going to leave this as is and I'll fill it in if things come up because I honestly can't think of anything else right now. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that's probably going to do it. So let me just show you guys what I have left in the kit. I thought that this came with date covers, but I must have not ordered that sheet, so I don't have them. I'm trying to remember if she like has, I know the other kits I ordered from her had them, but I guess this one didn't. I don't know, I must have like ordered something wrong or whatever. So let me show you what I have left. I have some flags and some bill dues on this sheet. I have some full boxes and labels and icons on this sheet, and this one's pretty much all used up. So thank you for watching my March monthly plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.